I'm in the middle of production on this track and I'm bringing you along halfway through. It is not finished yet. The foundational drums for today's track has been provided by the inimitable Jordan Rose. Four or five weeks ago, before my last leg of my latest tour, Jordan posted something publicly where he said, hey, use these drums, I recorded them, have fun. So today we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna show you three approaches to bringing drums and bass from the digital realm and producing them on one track on the Porta Studio. But let's first talk about what we have. Let me play you the digital version of what we are going to transfer to cassette today. Into DAW land. Today we are just doing bass and drums. And this is my little mix that I've done on these bass and drums. Sounds neat, huh? The bass I recorded at home with my Hofner through an Apollo interface. Now this part is Jordan's drum mix. He provided all the stems, but I liked his mix very much. And we're just dealing with that. I just chose to beef it up a little bit with a Pooltech plugin. Now, as you can see, I also have Jordan's snare signal, and that's because I just wanted to give it some effects. I wanted to give it some length. The snare has a gain plugin on it. It's got a decapitator to just crunch it up a bit, and it's going into the Echo Boy. Both of those are provided by Sound Toys, which is an amazing suite of fun effects. And you can hear that the snare now has a length of... <laughs> Listen to the drums with my snare effects. And now listen without. To remind your ears, let's listen to that all together once more. I think it sounds funky and groovy where we're at. We're gonna start with the first of three approaches, and that is just to bring it into the Porta Studio, totally naked, no processing. Let's just hear what the cassette and the Porta Studio does to this mono sum bass and drum track. Are you ready? Yeah! Great. First approach. Let's listen back, let's see if we like it and see if there's a difference between the DAW sound and the Porta Studio sound. Nice. Check that out. Can you hear the difference between that and the DAW? It's gonna be subtle. Check out the DAW again. I mean, I could get fatter. I'm just messing with the EQ for fun. I love it. I think it's cool. I think it's well balanced. The Porta Studio definitely adds a vibe. And again, this production is moving to the Porta Studio. There are many other parts that you're not hearing right now that are in my head. Without further ado, let's move on to the second approach. Now we're gonna use some parallel processing. I wanted parallel compression, but we don't have an analog compressor that does the grittiness that I that I was looking for. It's coming into the dirty rat, the JHS rat pedal. You guys know, I really like it. That parallel signal is coming into channel six and I'm directly assigning that to channel four. So this is a total commitment to the sound. Let's hear it. Let's see, let's compare it to the first one and to the DAW mix, all right? I'm gonna play it back. Yeah. Listen to this again compared to the first approach of just naked drums and bass on the Porta Studio. Nice. What the DAW sounded like. Another reminder. Yeah. Nice. One more approach that we're gonna execute and 
I'm gonna just add on to this signal chain, this parallel signal chain, and let's just get weird with it. Third approach. I'm thinking, ooh, vibrato. Let's try the vibrato. More off-screen madness has occurred. In the past, we've used vibrato on just the drums. It provides a really fun, uh, wobbly uncertainty to, to the sound. Yes! Let's quickly compare that to the previous approaches. Nice! Check it out. Yeah. hear the chorusing in the bass on this frequency in this part. That's all that a chorus is essentially. Big shout out to Jordan Rose. Right. Again, let me know which of the three approaches was your favorite. Thanks again as always for coming along with me. Check out the links in the description. Original music is there. Patreon.com forward slash made on tape. With that as always is peace and be good to each other.